It is upon us. The first weekend of Disney's Food and Wine Festival. Look at this line to get in. So we are currently in the long line of traffic to get into Epcot. We turned around the corner and I was like, oh my gosh, is all this traffic for Epcot? And Tim immediately goes, what did you think? It wasn't going to be busy? Yeah, because <laughs> it's the first weekend of Food and Wine. Like it's, it's we, no, we literally I, came to the first day of Food and Wine one time and the lines were so long, we left and went to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <clears throat> I do. I remember that because we were in line for 45 minutes to get something from the sushi. yeah the sushi from the Japan booth, and um, it was delicious. But I don't know that I would wait 45 minutes for anything at Food and Wine. So hopefully today is not that won't be the case. It will be, but no! um, I think judging by the clouds, it's probably going to rain early. So I'm hoping that these people are like, oh no, rain, and they all run away. I am not above like eating under an umbrella in the rain. Rain is not going to scare me away. Yeah, it scares me away very often, but <laughs> no. today I'm not going to let it. No, I'm too hungry. That's where we're trying to get to, slowly but surely. Look at the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster over there. It is such a big building. We made it to the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. I can't tell if it's really crowded today or if it's just like this is when everybody is coming. Because when we're inside, it seems like there's not that many people in here. But to get in, ooh, is it crowded. Whoa, something's going on at Spaceship Earth. Uh, it's leaking water right now. And there's just water everywhere. Wow. Was it Steve the Egyptian? Maybe. Is he to blame? Maybe. First things first, what we always do when we get into food and wine is we get a gift card so that we don't spend more than we anticipated. And we know how much we're spending. Yeah. So, let's go get a gift card. If you guys are into pin trading, this is not sanctioned by Disney, but there is always a large group of people pin trading over here to the right. There's a food and wine festival photo op with Remy on a cake. So here we go, which kind do I want? Ooh, I want the pink one, I think. Uh, there's actually another kind that's a special collector's one if you put over $250 on it, but I don't know that you would want one that specifically says, I put $250 on this gift card. So we made it through our first line of the day and that was to get the gift card and it was pretty long. So I think it was like our way of getting ready for the long lines at the food booth. We were pre-gaming the lines and now, yeah, we're ready. I guess not. I can see the first food booth and the line's not very long. Yeah, that first booth on the left there looks like there's nobody in line for it. Do you think that means that there's nothing good at that booth? I don't know. Let's see. I think it's the almond orchard. Maybe. And it's already raining. You know what? Honestly, I welcome this rain. It is so warm today. I think this rain will feel nice. Yeah. I put my hair up in the buns because I'm like, I'm going to be sweaty. I'm going to be gross. I'm going to be dirty. So I'm ready for it. Yeah. I came I came to play. You know who else is ready for it? Grillin' Mickey. He's making a nice kebab. Those actually look really delicious and I wish that they served those here. Oh. Yeah. That is a giant piece of corn. So this first booth that doesn't really have a line is the Islands of the Caribbean. Wow, it's getting real windy out here. An empanada, a chicken lollipop? Okay, it just looks like a chicken, like a chicken wing. Huh, I don't know. I don't know if I want any of that, but you know what else doesn't have a line right now? The Hawaii booth over there. Oh yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go get me some pork. Ooh, this is where we're at first. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Can I get out? Starting to really rain now. <laughs> Good times here. We're waiting for our food. We don't really know where we're gonna eat our food. This is gonna be an experience. At the Hawaii booth, we got our Kahlua pork slider, which is one of my favorite things to get every year. This is the spam hash with uh, potatoes and spicy mayonnaise. And then Jen got I got this seared tataki. It looks pretty gross, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. I'm confused. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks. All right, here it goes, the moment of truth. It's a little seaweed salad, a little seared tuna. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, nice. You know what I think it is? What? The plate is black. This is so thin. It's almost oh, transparent. Oh, yeah, yeah, So the plate is making it look gray. It's actually not gray when you pick it up. That's, I think, just a little a little illusion there. Gotcha. So you can okay. kind of see, but yeah, no. This is actually really good. And it stopped raining for about three seconds, and now it's raining again. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I've had both of these before. For whatever reason, I thought last year this came on, like, homemade potato chips, but I'm not seeing that this year. It is actual, like, pieces of potato. Maybe well, I'm thinking of something different. I think so, because hash is always like a diced country potato. That's good. It's very hearty. What flavors are you getting? Pineapple, uh, bell peppers, spam. Is it like tomato. a sweet, kind of a sweet flavor? A little bit, yeah, yeah, but also a little tiny bit. Not like it, they say spicy, but there's like if you are used to spice, this is not spicy at all. <laughs> you know how spicy has like a flavor to it? Yeah. 
this has a spicy flavor to it, but it's not spicy. That makes sense? And then let's try my favorite, which is the Kahlua pork slider. It's just a little bit soggy from the rain. I think this has been your favorite for the past like five years though. So you know it's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> That's really good. It has like a pineapple salsa. The pork is cooked really well. Oh, I know I haven't it's tried. It's so juicy. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And the juice is so flavorful. I know that that's a weird thing to say, but maybe it wasn't soggy from the rain. Maybe that's just soggy from the juice. This was definitely a good start to the Food and Wine Festival. Jen's gonna try the Spam Hash. So when I was a kid, I ate Spam all the time. Um, my grandparents love Spam and Scrapple, if you're familiar with any of those. Real quick, while you're talking, everybody that's watching, just notice the amount of people walking behind Jen. I, like after the rain, it was like, okay, it's time to get down on some food. Oh no, we gotta like run to the next booth, I think. Right? Not really, don't really run. Yeah. But this is actually... Oh. Monorail. This reminds me of my childhood, and it also reminds me of a country breakfast. I, I do like this, it's very filling. Yeah. The next booth is the Almond Orchard. This looks pretty darn good. Everything has almonds in it. Ooh, that artichoke dip. Wow. Oh, that hummus. Wow. You know what's really weird? What? Fridge. Is it? I just saw somebody like grab a whole tray of food out of it. Oh, I thought that those were like plates or something. I, they were like filled with stuff. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah. Huh. Secrets. It is intensely busy here today. Australia, uh, I don't know. Is there anything that looks good to you on there? Well, I always get this and it's never good. I don't think it was a lamb chop last year. I no, think that it was, was it? Yeah. Oh. It's always uh, not great. Just really quick, I don't want it to sound like I'm being negative or complainy, but I do think there are better ways to spend your money as far as like getting that lamb chop. Yeah. The, each time that I had it, the cut of meat was like chewy. It didn't taste like it was worth the price to me. So I don't know, that could be different for everybody though. Yeah. So this is a newer booth and I always like that it says here, introduced in 2016. Seared oh. scallops, isn't that what you want right there? This is the one that I saw that looked really cool. Oh, so what do you think? Are you gonna get one? I just want the cheese, I don't want the wine. It's, oh. too, it's too hot to drink right now. So I think that that's just this, right? Oh, I didn't see that, yeah. So I wanna get this and this. Okay. Right. Also, it, we thought it was gonna be cooler because it rained for a bit, now it's like 10 times as hot. So we got in line and then we heard a rumor that it was cash only. Well, no, it's not a rumor, it's true. I talked to the lady at the, at the cashier thing and she said that because there was lightning, all of the outside cash registers are down until they get the all clear to put them back up. So everything is cash only unless you go to an inside register, which I don't think there is anything inside this year except for the light lab. Yeah. Um, which I wasn't interested in, so that doesn't help me, but. Yeah. Um, also, there wasn't any lightning. No, I'm very confused by this whole thing. Oh. And it's, it's ridiculously sunny outside right now. Well, I think it's that. Yeah, there is a storm over there. But this is strange, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go to a different booth and see what they say. We'll try this one later though, because I do I do want to try those things. So we yeah. will be back. Off to the next booth. I'm thinking New Zealand doesn't look like it's too long of a line. Actually, I can't even see the line for New Zealand. Like I said before, they always say when it was introduced. So 1997 for New Zealand. I think I might get this seared venison sausage. Sounds kind of good. I feel like I've had this before and it was good. I don't remember though. I'm gonna give it a try. There's a bunch of people making a lot of noise. I guess there's two sides to the Canada booth and right now the cast members from Canada are trying to get either line worked up. And so they're like, they're having a battle back and forth. We got the festival passport, which tells us everything that they have available in all the different areas. They also have some of the merchandise in here too. Another thing that happens every food and wine festival is they have what's called Eat to the Beat, and it's a concert series. So tonight is Tiffany, and then what else do we got? We got Postmodern Jukebox, Sheila E, Sugar Ray, 38 Special, 98 Degrees, my venison sausage. Looks like it's got mushrooms and some sort of like what's squash that? puree oh, maybe. I was gonna ask you what that was. I don't really know. I think it's a squash puree. That's what it looks like to me. Huh. I also feel like I didn't get very much sausage. I feel like I got a third of a sausage. Um, there are three ducks here and they want venison sausage. Oh, honk honk. I got a knife thinking that I was gonna cut up the sausage. It's already cut for me. <laughs> I wonder if you could bring your own silverware to food and wine. They sell silverware here. Oh yeah. Like to bring. We should get it. It's not as flavorful as I thought it was gonna be. But what does it taste like? I don't even know. For something that has a lot of mushrooms on it, it doesn't taste like mushrooms. 
It tastes really smoky. And the um, texture is kind of weird. Yeah. Like there's no crunch in here, so it's just very like gooey. <laughs> Um, but it doesn't taste bad. It's very smoky. You know what's funny is after you say smoky, now I have smoke in my mouth. Yeah. But before I didn't. But even this. Whatever this is is smoky. Huh. Yeah. Well, it's strange. It's a weird flavor, right? I don't hate it, but it's not like on top of my list. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. very smoky. It seems like the Canada booth is one of the more popular ones because of the cheddar cheese soup and the filet mignon. Uh, that there are two lines just like this. Like this is one side and there's one on the other side that are both just as long. Even though the storm is moving away, they have shut down all of the stores. Do you think that storm's coming? No, that's heading away from us. Oh. Like that's the storm that we were sitting in with the rain, but like this festival market's closed. This is a leather booth that they normally have open in the Canada area and they're both closed right now. Up next, the Ireland booth, roasted Irish sausage. Sounds okay. Irish cheddar cheese and stout dip with Irish brown bread. Warm chocolate pudding. Ooh, there's a Guinness Bailey shake for $10.50. Also, you can get a Guinness extra stout for $4.25, but it's just a little tiny sample of it. Or you could go into Rosen Crown and get a full size one. I don't know why, but today it is very windy and in the shade, it feels Fantastic. This is the perfect Florida day in the shade. Yeah. Like this feels wonderful. It is, but like you said, it is very windy, so I don't know if you it's making it hard to hear us. Like my Shouldn't. <laughs> they like his t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Irish sausage from the Ireland booth. Uh, this is a lot more food than what I got with the venison sausage at the last booth. That looks really good. We come from France. This is we're at the France Pavilion. Ooh, carbonade de bouffe. What is that? It's beer braised beef with bacon, onion, and mashed potatoes. I kind of want that. Creme yeah. brulee. You want to get in this line? Croissant. Ah, oh, escargot. Uh, that is a pretty darn long line, isn't it? Should we do it though? Yeah, let's do it. Here's our braised beef. And it was, uh, of course, written in French, and I have no idea what that what it said. But braised beef. It looks good. I think it has bacon in it too. It looks delicious. Some creme brulee. Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> And this is the uh, croissant ow, escargot. I don't I don't know if I like how this looks dry. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I bet it tastes better than it looks. I hope so. I feel like this looks the most delicious of everything so far. It smells good. It's a little bit chewier than I would like, but it's very good. Does it taste like pot roast? Like what's the flavor? It tastes a little bit like pot roast. Like I said, it's a little bit chewier. Maybe that one bite that I had was just a little bit chewier, but because I feel like it wasn't cooked as long as a pot roast would be. It's not as pot roasty. Like tender? Yeah. Okay. But it also doesn't taste as much like a pot roast. Oh, okay. It smells like a pot roast to me. Yeah. Those are really buttery thick potatoes too. That's good. It has bacon. Look, there's some bacon. Yum. Let's see that escargot. Oh, I'm gonna cut off this little guy. The little the little escar nub. Yum. Mmm, that tastes so good. Hey Jen. Yeah. I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Oh, look at I all them snails in there. I didn't that think poor I was... snail. Is there only one snail? This is a big guy. That's a big snail. Okay, I'm going to eat it. Oh no, well, no, you're going to eat the snail. What do you think snails. that is? What part of the snail is that? That's its foot. <laughs> That's a snail foot. <laughs> is it? Is it real? Yeah, I mean, you're going <laughs> to eat it. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, stomach. Here comes snails. More snails. More snails. <laughs> I feel like it's more snaily this year than it was in years past. It's very delicious. <laughs> very buttery? It's not bad. What's the green stuff? I have no idea. Um, parsley maybe? Oh. It's kind of like a non-flavor herb. It just really tastes like butter and croissanty and garlic and snails. I like it. Yum. Let's see how it cracks. Oh yes. yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. Yeah. That's the good stuff. There's like a like a raspberry in the bottom of this. I've never had raspberry creme brulee, but that is delicious. And I want every creme brulee I have from now to have raspberries in it. <laughs> Let's see what we've got for Brazil here. Brazilian seafood stew, crispy pork belly. Oh man, Brazilian cheese bread. Next up, Belgium, more beer braised beef. That's what we just had. Ooh, Belgium waffles though. Ooh, oh, and these beers. 
I don't drink beer anymore, but if I did, I think that I would be getting that Lefe. Up next, Morocco. I think that this is the same sort of stuff that we've gotten before. These hummus fries look really interesting though. Kefta pocket, the chocolate baklava. Uh, we had it last year and it was delicious. But I've, I'm like saving myself now because I'm, I'm sort of full, so I wanna try something new. This festival shop is open. Oh, and they're selling these Taste Your Way Around the World spirit jerseys. These are fun, like reusable shopping bags for $29.99. How much is that spirit jersey? Probably 60 bucks. Yeah, 60. Dang. How much is this shirt? Taste Your Way Around the World. $29.99. Same price as the bag. It smells like they just finished painting in this booth. Well, these are kind of fun. Taste Your Way Around the World. $24.99. Nice. And these little plates so that you can put your wine and your food in there. How much is this? Oh, well, it's not too bad, $7. Well, it looks like they've got two different kinds of wine glasses in here. This one's $14.99. And this one is also $14.99. They have special food and wine ears now for $24.99. They look like cork, and they say all the names of the countries around them. This Figment Turvis, $26.99. Two tiny wings, eyes big and yellow, horns of steer. What a lovable fellow. This is neat. $27.99 for this figment shirt here. Well, I like how they're using the Schoolhouse Rock um, animation style. Yeah. I'm glad that they're using more figment as well. Up next, the Japan booth. Teriyaki chicken bun actually looks really, really good. What does this mean? Like, it's definitely not vegetarian. Maybe it's a little bit spicy. Beef nigiri and a spicy roll. Ooh. Jen got the spicy tuna hand roll. This is like my staple for every food and wine. I always have to get whatever sushi item they have from Japan. And I'm never disappointed. Ooh, I did see that that beef nigiri was there and it looked kind of good. Uh, it had shrimp on it though. Oh. Yeah. Which I'm sure you could ask for no shrimp. Was it good? Spicy. It is. It's not super spicy. It's a little bit spicy, but it's not very cold. Oh no. That worries me. I'm sure I'll be fine, but that's one thing about this festival that is worrisome, is that the food sometimes comes out hot when it's supposed to be cold. And cold when it's supposed to be hot. I've never had that issue, but like, this shouldn't be warm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But it does taste very good. During Food & Wine, they have what's called Remy's Hide & Squeak, where you go around and you find different Remy's, and depending on what he has, where like here he has, what are those, like squash or zucchini, you put a sticker on a map, and then when you're done, you get a prize. And this here, it's a cup. That one, just to give you guys one hint, we won't show you any more Remy's, but he is here at the Japan booth. Every year during Food & Wine at the America Pavilion, they have what is called Eat to the Beat, and they have big name acts come in and sing. Tonight, it's Tiffany. Children behave, that's what they'll say when we're together. Also in the America Pavilion is Hops and Barley Market. Ooh, that Brunswick slider sounds really good. Oh, carrot cake, sounds really good as well. And they also have some really interesting beers here too. Coffee one, a Blue Star Wheat. Oh, I thought maybe it was a Blueberry Wheat, but maybe it's not, just Blue Star. Here at Block and Hans, they have some really interesting ones. Some Blood Orange Wheat Ale, Hawaiian Coconut Coffee Porter. Huh, that sounds pretty interesting. Pro tip, if you're coming to Hops and Barley, there are two lines. This line is real long, and there's nobody even over here. $5.75 for uh, one bite of brisket. Well, let's see, is it at least a big piece of meat? Not really. No, look at how much empty, I feel like I would feel less ripped off if they didn't give me this giant empty space next to it. I feel like in like food and wine 2035, you're gonna get it in a little thimble. Uh, food and wine is delicious. Well, the food is always really good. Like we, we never really get bad food. Maybe it's a flavor we don't like, but the quality of the food is usually pretty good. Yeah. But. The pricing is getting to be a little ridiculous. Yeah. Like not to not to complain. I know I don't want to sound like we're complaining, but it's very pricey for what you get now. Yeah. And there was and here's the thing, they shouldn't have done this to me. One year at uh holidays, a festival of the holidays, they gave me at this booth at the America booth like a turkey dinner. That was like $12 and it was like a pound and a half of food. If I and can I find like, that video, I'll put it up in the corner so you guys can see what he's talking about. And it was so delicious and I was like, this is what I want at a food festival. And then I came back to a regular food festival and this is normal. Like this is a normal portion of food for 
festivals at Epcot. I feel like if I hadn't ever gone to that holiday festival and gotten that large portion, so this wait, would be normal to us. So what you're saying is like ignorance is bliss? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Give this brisket a try. That tastes like pot roast. Does it? Yeah. Do you it's think a little they, bit spicy. Are they just using all the same meat and then they just put different sauces on it? Maybe. It doesn't taste like brisket. No? No. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't taste like it's barbecued or grilled in any way. It looks like brisket. It tasted like a pot roast, like they cooked it in a pot. Huh. It is really spicy. Like what kind of spice are you talking? Like a jalapeno? jalapeno. Yeah, oh, it's a okay. jalapeno. It's all over my tongue. Oh no. So, well, I take the back. It's not really spicy, but it is kind of like an annoying spice. It has a little kick to it. Yeah. That you weren't ready for. Yeah. Okay. Just after the America Pavilion at this Joffrey's stand, they have a specialty beverage here called Fire and Ice. Opposites a track with this tantalizing mix of frozen lemon and fireball cinnamon whiskey. Next stop, the Italy booth. I don't know if any of this sounds like something I would want. Oh, the cannoli sounds good though. Except for the candied fruit in it. The new booth from last year, Spain. Do you want a charcuterie in a cone? I feel like we had this somewhere. I, I had it here. Yeah, I'm gonna try it again. Being good. There's my charcuterie cone. This looks Pretty darn good. It's not as small as I remember, but it does get smaller towards the bottom. It is a cone, so this is the most amount of food that you'll see is at the top here. Then at the bottom, maybe nothing, because everything's like olives and big chunks of meat and cheese and stuff like that. Oh, oh see, this is the thing that I'm the most excited for. What is that? A, a ham. What kind of ham? I think it's prosciutto or serrano ham. Serrano. I feel That's like it's prosciutto because serrano is a little bit more pricey. Oh, but also, prosciutto is Italian. This is Spain. Oh no, I don't know my meats. Oh no, that's why I was thinking serrano because I think that's Spanish. If this is serrano ham, like that's that's a good deal. That's a pretty good piece. Is it so good? I love ham. <laughs> Charcuterie cone review was good. It was good, however, we're here with a friend and his charcuterie cone didn't have any meat in it. Yeah, it had a, like very little meat in it so and all olives. They don't seem to be consistent, but right. I feel like if that happens to you, I think you can tell them and they will they will give you a new one. Gotcha. So just keep that in mind. Some pasta gratin with ham. This is the Germany booth. Roast bratwurst on a pretzel roll. I am getting that. That sounds delicious. Here's the bratwurst. I always like that they gave us like a full out, normal, fairly normal sized bratwurst with this little baby bun. <laughs> I do like that they're skinny bratwurst. No, it's good. It's just like any other bratwurst. Yeah. I like that was the song of food and wine. It's just the whole, well, aside from that, but the trash can opening and closing. <laughs> So there's a there's another booth that is solely for beer. This is called the Brewers Collection. And of course you can get a water here too. And it's starting to rain again. The India booth is another new one from last year. Warm Indian bread. What is this red curry? And Korma Chicken, one of the older booths, the China booth. Pancake with beef. Ooh. This stuff sounds kind of good. Oh, that bao bun does sound really good. Those chicken dumplings look good too. Everything here looks really good and I don't normally like Chinese food. We made it through one pavilion, the Norway Pavilion, and it is stopped raining. If you guys remember back to our tour around the Norway Pavilion, this is the bakery right now, but for whatever reason, during food and wine, it's closed. We've almost made it all the way around to all of the booths. We've got Mexico, Thailand, and maybe one more up there. Let's see what Mexico has. A short rib tostada. That sounds really good. But then again, didn't we have something here that I was like, no, that wasn't very oh, good? That had pineapple. I think that was different. Okay. Good. I'm gonna get it. It's not gonna be easy to eat. This looks really nice though. It does. It looks delicious. Yeah. Look at those like really thinly sliced red onions on the top. They look so good. So this is the braised beef tostada with salsa verde and black beans. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. There's a lot of braised beef at this event this year. Yeah. Like everything that I've eaten has been braised beef. That's good. What does it taste like? Basically, like a really fancy nacho. <laughs> like if you added cheese to that, it would be phenomenal. Oh, that salsa verde is really good. Very fresh, very cilantro-y. Another new booth is the Thailand booth. Just marinated chicken. I like that. In peanut sauce though. Yeah. Here's a picture of the marinated chicken 
the seared shrimp and scallop cake, and the red hot spicy Thai curry beef. Last booth that we haven't seen yet is the grease booth. Loaded Greek nachos. Oh, that sounds interesting. Spanakopita. Looks pretty good. I don't know. I'm pretty full though from all the stuff that we've eaten. One last stop and that's into the festival center and this is in the Wonders of Life pavilion. You can see Guardians of the Galaxy peeking out from behind it. That is a big building. So now wait, are they gonna are they gonna build the roller coaster? Like are they gonna build the whole building and then put the roller coaster in? Yeah. yeah. So we'll, yeah. we'll never see it. We'll never see it until oh. we ride it. That's annoying. Here we are inside the festival center. This is the old Wonders of Life building. This is some Epcot of my childhood right here. Ooh, this is all kinds of stuff. This is the Disney family of wines. I think that these are just like Disney wines and you can get a, a flight of wines. What is this? The Disney wines. Oh. Like the Disney family of wine. And I think you could just buy them over here. There's just like a lot of wines for sale. Huh, maybe these are all things that you could get in the festival. There's that crystal head vodka. These are interesting and I like this. It's just unique bottles. They're cats. Key lime sparkling wine. So this is like a key lime champagne. There's a cranberry one. This is interesting. Here's a peach one right here. This is where you get your pass holder magnet. And then there is also a pass holder cutting board, but you have to come four days in a row to get the cutting board. You can kind of see the cutting board back there on the table. These are these like dipping scarves where they like dye it with these fun colors. This is exciting. And then when they're done, they like, it ends up looking a little bit something like this. How neat is that? Oh, that's cool looking. Heading into the chocolate experience from the bean to the bar. Thank you so much. No chocolate caramel. I love this kind. Yeah, do you want mine? For you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back in here, they have all sorts of displays made of chocolate. So this is Toy Story Land, like Slinky Dog, made of chocolate. Well, Slinky himself is not made of chocolate, but the actual coaster track is. Mm -hmm. It's the Black Panther made of chocolate. I love it. Ooh, the Headless Horseman made of chocolate. I literally thought he was carrying the straw. Remember the straw from the party? Oh yeah, the one that I bought, the five dollar, my five dollar straw. Yeah. I think my favorite is this owl up here. He's way back in the back back there. Oh, I love um, He looks like- Oh yeah, Ichabod back there. Yeah, over there. Look, there it is, it's Coco. Oh look, there's the family picture down there. I still have to watch this movie. Yeah, you'll cry. Dante is the best, but you'll cry. That's the dog, yeah, yeah. Oh, is this the other part of the picture over here? Maybe not. I feel like Miguel has the other part. Oh look, there's the, uh, the Polynesian Shruggy guy, all made out of chocolate. This is amazing. I do love that. Yeah, this is, oh, I like that they made like pumice stone out of chocolate. That's really neat. And the last one in here is this leopard lazily relaxing on his chocolate branch. I think my favorite is that hippo. Oh yeah. There's another section over here called craft drafts. And it's all beer. Here's what they've got here. Ooh, triple chocolate milk stout sounds delicious. The line for the pass holder magnet actually makes its way entirely around the pavilion. It is a full 360 degree circle around it. And the last thing in this pavilion is Shimmering Sips, a mimosa bar. Oh, this was the thing I wanted to see. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, we're gonna have to make another trip out because we do need to get back to Bandit. We've been here for a little bit of time now. So next trip, my promise to you is that I will have a mimosa flight. <laughs> I know that's very important to you. <laughs> we just realized before we left, there's a lot more booths over here that we haven't come to yet. So we're definitely gonna be back for another trip out here. But we did wanna stop in Light Lab for one more treat before the rain. Let's go see if we can get inside the Light Lab. Maybe we won't go into the Light Lab. That's the line to get in. I didn't know there was like a line. Okay, so we're gonna take another trip and we will definitely go into the Light Lab. Yeah, we'll and go in there first when we get here next time. We'll definitely have a mimosa flight and, we'll, and a cheese flight and a wine flight. So what we're going to do is we'll put a link in the description down below and up in one of the corners for last year's video yeah. where we definitely came to Light Lab and we did some of these booths out here. Mm -hmm. So uh, you guys can get an idea just to kind of tide you over until the next time that we come. Oh, but we're coming again. Oh yeah. We did want to show you the Light Lab menu though. The Phosphorus Freeze Infrared Ultraviolet 
Blue Spectrum. This is the only one that's alcoholic. What is what is this though? Boba Pearls. That is that champagne that we were just looking at. It's that blue champagne. Oh. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. This is the you get to actually keep this beaker too. For seven dollars and you get to keep a beaker? That's not bad. Is it glass? No, it's plastic, but it still it looks cool. Looks like Spaceship Earth is still closed. Still probably working on whatever it was that was leaking in here. Thanks for celebrating with us. Yeah. It was a good time. Yeah, we had an awesome day. It Honestly, the rain really kind of cleared some people out, which was like a good thing. Yeah. It didn't rain for too long, which is also a good thing. Although there is thunder happening right now, so I would yeah. not be surprised if it's going to rain again. We're definitely, we're going to head out now, but I feel like we had a pretty good mix of things that we tried today as far as like new stuff, old stuff. Yeah, and then we have to come back because there's still way more that we haven't tried yet. Yes. There's, so, a, there's a ton that we missed. I would love to one day come and try everything. That would be intense. Has anybody done that? Is that like a challenge? Wow. Everything? Yeah. How much do you think not that drinks, would cost? Not drinks, just the food, just the food. And how would you make it through just so much food? I think we, we I don't know, it's a challenge. That's why they call it a challenge. I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> well, let us know in the comments down below if you guys think that it's possible or not. Or have you done it? Yeah. Yeah. And just by yourself or with a group of people? It would just be us. Okay. Yeah. So, well, there you have it. That was our trip out to Food and Wine. And with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Shannon from North Carolina and now it's time to pay the price.